This is not a build guide. I'm just showcasing what I've been working on with a new enchantment available this league. Increases and reductions to minion damage also affect you at 150% of their value. I rolled this synthesized bow by chance that gave 3% attack speed and minions deal 12% increased damage on a synthesized short bow, and it is item level 86. So I did some quick rolling with the currency I had, and I ended up with this bow here that has minions deal 133% increased damage. Now, what does this mean for the actual numbers? The implicit gives me 18% increased damage, and this explicit actually gives me, even though it's not near max, gives me 199 increased damage. So the bow alone is right now giving me 217% increased damage. It's pretty nice. Now for the ring, I decide to actually go and try a mirrored bone ring. I could definitely get a better one here, but as you can see, I have some decent life. I have minion damage. And I have a bunch of other negative minion stats that don't matter. And I don't know why the maximum energy shield doesn't set me to zero. If I take this off and you look in the lower left, which is why I'm not using a camera right now, you'll see I'm still at 41. I put this on. I'm guessing it's like a local number or something. I'm not entirely sure why, but it doesn't affect the shield I have. It doesn't put to zero. So anyway, this here gives me 85% increased minion damage, which is actually going to be 127% increased damage. That is significant. But I'm also getting a little more minion damage elsewhere. I grabbed a Fortress Covenant. And this has all these possible negative things that could happen if I have notable passives, which I, I don't. But you can see here that minions deal 43% increased damage. On this build, this is 64% increased damage with a single point on the tree, which is pretty, pretty nice. Now, how am I planning to improve? Well, definitely I can get some better gloves. I need to replace these anyway, and I can get minion damage on the gloves. I think I can get 30% minion damage, which is actually 40% minion damage if I decide to go for that. And I'm not sure where else to go with this, to be honest. I definitely could improve this bow. This bow is just something I slapped together with the amount of currency I had, which wasn't much. Um, The only other interesting things on this build is I really like this body armor. I made this in the synthesis, the, the recombinator before uh, the changes, which is pretty nice. And I have this helmet here. It just gives me enough accuracy that I don't have to run precision. Uh, and it has some decent, you know, numbers here as well. Got, again, really lucky on a recombinator. That's what happened here. Now, with that being said, if I go down to here, you will see that I go and take the Master Fletcher, and I'm also taking the Multi-Shot, which I know a lot of people, I don't think, take this. I think they take the uh, the actual, um, oh, the, uh, the Jewel. I probably should do that. I just haven't bought the Jewel, and I don't mind the attack speed, you know, attack speed. I'm already over here. I'm taking this attack speed as well. So I don't really mind it. I, I went for the extra arrows here. That's just kind of a personal preference. Um, now, my amulet does have uh, two implicits as well. Definitely could do a better amulet. It's just a basic plus two that I crafted. Uh, I have hired killer and heart of flame. So I get the hired killer, a lot of life. I think everyone's basically doing this as an EA ballista. And then Heart of Flame is 30% increased fire damage and damage penetrates 6% of fire resistance. I picked this base up, I think, for like 30C and crafted on it. Nothing else really that exciting, different about the build. I just thought I would mention this because I don't know if other people are actually playing with the synthesized, oh, not synthesized, the, uh, the enchantment here. I think it's 